What's up, guys? This is JP with Calm Vibes. Hey, and I'm back again. All right, so um, you all been seeing it. Monique and her buffoonery that she did on DL Hughley. I've never seen anything like this. You know, looking at the shit she posted, it was planned. What did you plan? And why, if you had a problem with this man, you went and did a show with him? So now, other comedians and actors and actresses and everybody in the industry are coming out talking shit to, about Monique. Because, you know, she brought all his family into it, his daughters, or some tragic happened with the daughter, the dog, his dad, all kind of crazy shit. So, uh, <laughs> One of my favorite comedians, Corey Holcomb, he went off. So this is what I'm going to show you what he did on his show. So before we hit this off, make sure you hit that little subscribe button, that like, and comment at the end on what you think about how Monique handled this shit. Because I think she handled this shit reckless. So, a few seconds knock that out. And let's check this shit out, man. He dragged her ass. Let's go. Shit out of here. Nobody want to watch that shit. You brag about being the headliner on the Queens of Comedy, but watch this. Watch this. Y'all ready for this? America, you ready for this? Awesome. The building wasn't half full. Oh. So if you such a headliner, why you couldn't fill up the building? The building wasn't half full. So like the I'll be there in December. We might do two shows. And I ain't never had a TV show. Them people ain't fuck with me because I ain't going to get on there and say, God damn it, that hog mog make me go. <laughs> get that sucker ass comedy the fuck out of here. All you can do is talk bitter shit. The fuck is you talking about? You sitting up here shitting on motherfuckers, bragging on your resume. Your contract wasn't right. Your resume obviously ain't shit. Then you win a movie for being the worst cinematogra cinematographic mom in the history of movies. Watch Precious. <laughs> so basically, at the end of the day, what do you? How would you uh, word it that should have taken place? Somebody say she a good actress. Okay. Oh. Let's give her the good actress. Mm. 50 Cent said he about to put her in his in shit. Uh -huh. So 50 Cent could maybe help the bitch. But in comedy, mm. no. You know you ain't shit, so you start shit. I hate to this is called This is called insecure bitch syndrome. All bitches who are insecure about shit find ways to jump shit off, try to get all the women on your side and all that shit. Bitch, you ain't crack no jokes. You didn't crack no jokes. Hmm. So you basically what are jokes? So it was just an unprofessional move. She shouldn't have just she. She went up there and shit it all over that man. DL didn't shit all over her. DL got a corporate job. He getting corporate money. He can't do the same shit she do. It was like he was just answering her back. I'm right? not making no excuses for him because I'd have did the shit anyway. Motherfucker going stay a fat bitch talking shit about me. <laughs> you better be a bad bitch talking shit about me. Bro. You better be a bad Damn. bitch talking shit about That'd me. Cause I'm going see. in. That'd have been a sight to see if you went up. You did. You went up. Because they have been going. So they, they have been going back and forth on the most memorable <laughs> stage moment I can think of with her is when she did the fat girls doing Beyonce shit. Got me going so crazy right now. When it was a whole bunch of fat bitches in her mm. dancing like Beyonce. That's the funniest shit I ever seen her do, mm. and it's still buffoonery. <laughs> <laughs> Sell out some shows on some jokes. You can't. No matter what you say about who you are, I'm 30 years in the game. The building was half full. Groupon tickets. It happens sometimes, mm -hmm. but it ain't the show. I'm not going to be bragging about who I am in a theater that's half full in Detroit, full of niggas, Michigan. Mm. <laughs> Motherfuckers would have bought the ticket, but they looked at that shit, and I know everybody who was on that ticket. They was like, nope. <laughs> I fuck with that pussy ass show. Mm. <laughs> okay, so uh, there you have it, man. He, man, he just tell you how he felt about the shit. Um, a lot of people feel the same. She did not handle this right. I don't know what 
the freak she was thinking about. I don't know why you want to just do what you did. Cause you, I don't understand if you have a problem with someone and you went back, like you did a live, I'm not even going to play that bullshit. You did a live about how and why you did what you did. And you went all the way back to when he um, had his TV show. That show been canceled for damn what, 12 to 15 years, if not more? You went all the way back to that to say you had a problem with him to justify the bullshit you did. And then you're trying to rally all the black women like it's a sisterhood problem to attack him now. The same shit you did with Netflix, you try to get mad because nobody wanted to protest Netflix because you didn't want to get, you didn't get paid what you thought you should get paid. And, and here's a little something a lot of people don't know. Um, the CEO of Netflix is married to a black woman. Uh, the woman under that is a black woman. So when you're screaming, this racist and all this, a lot of the artists they bring it on are black comedians. Just because they didn't want to, well, they were going to hire you, but they weren't going to pay your ass what you thought you were worth. All you had to do is turn it down. Or do the show and then get another show and now you can ask for more. Because I think nobody's seen you on screen and who knows how long doing comedy. Last time I seen you was fat, fat. You know, you just, you know, you big now. But you were like big, big last time I seen you. Talking about skinny bitches and all that shit. So, but anyway, um, the shit's not working out the way she thought. Um, DL's daughter responded back to, or the oldest daughter responded back to her with a nasty um, letter. Um, it's, it's not coming out good for her. Because, you know, you went after him, but then you heard his wife, and then you went after his daughter. You said something about her daughter, something tragic happened to the daughter. And you brought it up. Now she got to relive that shit again. And, you know, so everybody like, what the fuck? And again, you're trying to justify it. Talking about something for the women, black women and all this. No, you know, you fucked up. You and a clown ass husband, y'all fucked up. So I, I don't have no remorse for her. I know, I mean, she's not on my list for anything. I can tell you that now. And a lot of other people probably going to shut her down. Now she said she's going to do some more shows. Uh, I think, what she say she was going? I don't know if she said she was going out of Florida or New York. But she said she had some more shows to discuss it. So, people, if you're paying your money to go see this shit, guess what you're going to hear about? This same bullshit that nobody wants to hear. So, she may have messed up her chances to get some tickets sold by doing this for further shows. So, what do you guys think? Hit me up in the comment section. Don't forget, hit that subscribe, like, and uh, let me know what you think. Was this uh, justified what Monique did? All right. So this is JPU Convives, and I'm up out of here. Peace.